All right, let's go get him. Let's go get him. What? Did 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 the game just reset? Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking five. What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. And of course, I'm playing some Call of Duty World War II. And if you're a long time supporter of mine, I would appreciate if you just hit the like button. Just because you know you're gonna like the video. Stun grenade. But I'm playing some World War II. I, I knew that guy was in the corner because he sat there and shot the guy in the back. And you can't. You can. But if you're not a crazy person, you can't really get upset with stuff like that yet. You know, when it's a month into the game, maybe. And the levels are up and people know the maps and stuff like that. But right now, we don't know the maps and what I was telling you guys in beta. People don't know the maps. You can't really get frustrated and you can't call a map terrible. I really learned that from Black Ops 2. And... Uh, I really learned that from Black Ops 2. Remember, everywhere was a head glitch in Black Ops 2. You guys have to remember that. And then you got used to the maps and then you started checking for the head glitches because you remember where they were. We were only frustrated because, ah, every corner you turned, somebody was head glitching and you had to get frustrated because you didn't know the maps and it was all psychological. Then when you learned the maps, it was like, yeah, Black Ops 2 is great. <laughs> but honestly, I really don't have crazy complaints about this game. It's it's all right. I didn't get hit with the fire. Look, this guy's on fire, but I didn't get hit with the fire shotgun yet. I know that's going to probably be my main complaint this whole year of this game. Because we all know the fire shotguns are terrible. Unless they did some kind of debuff. What is it called? Nerf. I was about to say debuff unless they did some kind of nerf that they didn't tell us about that we didn't don't know about and the game runs good the game runs good it's fluid the the hit detection is okay of course it's, it's call of duty you're gonna get those what the f deaths that you didn't deserve shot around the corner it's call of duty we all expect that but for the most part the game's running pretty good. Didn't get hit with the fire shotguns. People didn't unlock the annoying stuff yet. I didn't have the urge. This is the big thing. I didn't have the urge to play Call of Duty a lot. This is like my fifth game right here. I probably played one more after this and then I was like done. And I think it's because of playing games on the PC and the more hardcore games with less things on the screen. Like I really like that for some reason. It, it, like if we play a game, I'm gonna use Daisy for an example. The game Daisy that I play, if I'm running with somebody, his name isn't on top of his head. You know what I mean? His name is not on top of his head. If I kill somebody, 100 doesn't pop up on the screen like a pat on the back. And stuff like that. Bayonet charge. Bayonet charge. Bayonet charge. Stuff like that is what gets my attention now for some reason. Like the more of a hardcore game. Not the hardcore playlist when you die in one bullet. But that's what kind of intrigues me. Bayonet charge. Bayonet charge. But overall. I'm gonna tell you guys that from day one in my five games that I played, I didn't see anything that was terrible about the game other than the load times and that 
clip that happened at the beginning, which happened to me twice. But I don't know, it's something with the load times. Like it loads so slow and it was happening in the beta. So they didn't fix that at all. But the game, when you get in the game, I ran cool, ran cool, ran, can't say flawlessly because it is Call of Duty, but I'm out. And remember, Michael Jordan is the jive turkey of basketball. I'm out.